Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's pay dirt review time again. And this time I'm going to be revisiting the seller B. Greeny, who sells over at acrossthepondpaydirt.com. And this time I'm going to be trying his Wild West bag. So I'm really excited to find out what's in this bag. Now it does say it has some Western themed items in it besides gold. And typically I am not a fan of finding things other than gold in my pay dirt unless it's in the description. And since this was listed in the description, I'm pretty excited to see what I find. Now, before I flash up the description and we go to the overhead, I need to thank today's sponsor, and that's my Patreon members. So thank you again, all my Patreon members, including my two newest Patreon members, Monte Wilson, and Rocky Mountain Life Prospecting. So thank you both very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested in supporting this channel, you can check me out over at patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now let's get to the description for B. Greeny's Wild West bag. As you saw, a very detailed description. It is rather long, but it tells you everything you'll need to know about this B. Greenies Wild West Pater, from where the material comes from, even from where the gold might come from. And it also tells you it is a one pound bag with a half a gram of gold in it. So let's weigh it up to see if it is the one pound stated. And there you go, one pound, 1.1 ounces. So let's open this up. See what we get. Already see a coin in there. And I will rinse this out before the end of the video. So let's check it. I do see some stuff, coin, and a small piece of paper. Paper from the Wild West. Let's check it for magnetite. Two coins in this one. Turquoise, some other things. A little bit of magnetite, not too much for a pound of material. So, there we go. Might as well pull these aside. Some buffalo nickels. Put these over here. And let's listen to some music while I classify this down. All done classifying and as you can see the majority of this material is in the lower classifications and they do have a little bit more in the plus 10 than the minus 10 plus 20. I'm going to be curious to see where the gold is. I'm guessing it's going to be in these two, maybe a little bit in here. I don't expect any gold in the plus 10. This is only a $45 bag and it did have a couple little things in there like the gems and penny which I'll add to the nickels. But the only way to find out where the gold is, is to pan it out. So let's go get some water and do just that. So have my water, have my pan, have all my pay dirt here from B. Greeny. It's Wild West bag. I did pick out all the turquoise as well as the coins. So all that should be left is gold and I do see a little bit of silver. So let's get started with the plus 10 and listen to some more music.
Well, finished painting everything out as you saw, and that was some pretty easy painter to go through with a few little difficulties in it, but we will talk about that in a minute. But right now, let's show you the gold I found. In the plus 10, two nice little pieces in there. It's kind of surprising. I did not expect to find any gold in the plus 10 because it was a lower priced bag. In the minus 10 plus 20, even more gold. About 15, 16 pieces in there. Really nice little pile. In the minus 20 plus 40, even more gold. Probably almost 30 pieces in there probably. Too many for me to count. And lastly, in the minus 40, even more gold. A nice little pile in there. And again, that was kind of surprising too. Did not expect. So let's weigh this up, see what we got. Starting with the plus 10. Zero point nine five, and I am guaranteed a half a gram in this bag. Minus ten plus twenty. Zero point three six zero. So pretty much almost hit the half a gram. And this one piece that wants to not go in. Zero point one five zero. So definitely hit over the half gram. And lastly, the minus 40. This might budge a scale a little bit. And there you go. 0.20. Lay it all up. Let's see what we got. zero point six two five and i also am going to weigh up the silver i found and i found a nice little bit of silver in there zero point three eight five gram or zero point three nine zero i'm starting to talk too fast and also in this bag i did find Two buffalo nickels and an Indian penny, as well as some turquoise. It looks a little polished, and I'm pretty sure it's turquoise, but I might be wrong, but pretty nice. And now, let's talk about pay dirt difficulty. Now, for this Wild West bag from B. Greeny, it wasn't too difficult to go through. There was a little bit of fine gold in the minus 40, but as you saw, if you missed it, I don't think it would really change your ROI. It did not cloud up the water. There was a couple pieces of organics, but not enough to mess up your panning. Now with that in mind, for a beginner panner, I'm going to give this a medium. For an advanced panner, I'm going to give it an easy. And for an expert panner, I'm going to give it an easy as well. Now I will say, it does have a few difficult parts in this pay dirt, and that is the silver. Silver does not want to sink like gold does, so it was a lot more difficult to try to pan it out. And if you're going to buy a bag of this, you'd probably be better off just trying to pick out the silver or stop mid pan and pick it out because otherwise you're going to be like me and have to pan it out a second time to get it. And now let's just get to the ROI and the review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from B. Greeny over on acrossthepondpaydirt.com, and it was his one pound Wild West bag. It was guaranteed 0 0.5 grams of gold. It's cost $45. Shipping was free. So total cost right here for all of this, $45. Now the gold I recovered, again, right here, 0 0.625 grams. I also recovered 0 0.390 grams of silver and 11 cents worth of coins. Gold spot on the day that this was received was $61.05. Silver spot on the day that this was received was 84 cents. And this, I'm guessing, is worth 11 cents. I'm not going to put a premium on it. They are probably worth a little bit more. But that's way too much calculating based on condition and all those things. So I'm just going to count it for 11 cents. 
and you can up whatever the final ROI is if you think they're worth more. Now with that being said, so total gold value right here, $38.16. Silver value, 33 cents. And again, the coins are 11 cents. I didn't put a price on the turquoise, but again, you can adjust my ROI when you want to. So in total, I recovered $38.60 worth of gold, silver, and coins, making my ROI 85.78% or on my scale an 8.6. And that's really, really good. Typically, like I've said previously, I expect to get around a 70% or higher on bags, but getting an 86% ROI on a half gram bag is really, really hard to find. So I was really happy with this. I really enjoyed this pay dirt. And because of that, the fun factor, I'm giving it a nine. I am bumping it up because this was a lot of fun for a half gram bag for only 45 bucks. I probably should have bumped it up to a 10, but I figured nine was fair. And I'm gonna stick with that because I already calculated all my numbers. For Pater description, I'm going to give it a 10. It gives you pretty much everything you need to know about this Pater, and I really enjoy that as well. I like when sellers take time to write details about what they're selling. For quantity and packaging, he's getting a 9, 10 because it was over the pound stated, and an 8 for the coffee bag packaging. For customer service and shipping, he's getting a 10. It shipped out really, really quickly, and the customer service with Be Greeny has always been excellent. So total score for B. Greenies Wild West bag is a 9.3. I really have to say, I really enjoyed this bag. I am so happy I went back to revisit B. Greeny and I picked up a bag of this. I had a blast. It was a lot of fun and you should check them out as well. So all that's left is to flash up the score and then give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. Just the dime, none of the other stuff. So let's just flash up the score right here. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's going to go to Suzanne Johnson. So Suzanne Johnson, make sure you email me so I can send this dime off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.